Alan Kay, one of the finest luminaries of personal computing, once said, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. But to invent certain things or discover certain things, we need some kind of a source of inspiration to inspire us, to go out of our comfort zone. But having said this, how do we get this inspiration? In 2009, there was a movie released by name Three Idiots, which changed the entire way of learning system in India. It truly depicted the current situation of Indian education system. At the same time, it gave us a thought to think about who we are than what we really want to be. But if we had to go the in continuous future, our foremost memories goes back to the chalk and talk methodology where we had a personal kind of a connection with our faculty members. To test this simple concept, if you had to go back to around 25 years back when you were studying in a primary school, you are going to remember the particular faculty name very clearly, very concisely. And if you ask the question, why do you remember the, the primary school teacher, why not the graduate students or faculty, you remember only one thing, it was on their personal experience what they had with you. But as we started growing up and we are preparing for the fourth industrial revolution, how can we make sure students are going to get engaged without getting bored, especially Generation Y and Generation Z? I'm going to talk about something on the Generation Z. How can we make sure we as a faculty member get their attention, grab their attention, grab their interest, and make sure they are going to learn the, the best of the best? In my concept, I think the toughest job of a human being is a teacher because the teacher is the one who is going to entire hold, entire for the one hour rather than having talking about for five minutes. With this thought, pondering thought of giving an effective change in the entire education system, I joined PSITM in 2011 onwards. And I was very much fortunate enough to keep on doing the, the best of the best uh, innovation teaching methodology, be it flipped classroom for three years, uh, design thinking for educating, implementing design thinking for educators, writing, I'm mean, writing on the book on the design thinking, which is going to get published next year, and also just recently finished the Instagram for consumer behavior. So the draw of conclusion is only one thing. How can you make sure you're going to be the best of the best teaching methodology for the students? But I was always wondering, it is the ideas should be converted into an experience. Until unless the ideas of whatever the faculty member sh express will never get into converted into an experience that that particular methodology will never work. While, while in the journey of soul searching, I was deeply influenced by three movies. One is Matrix, second is Inception, and the last one is Avatar. Movie is a movie, technology is a technology, and those are all legend people who have directed the movie. But it got me one personal question, the only one question which revolves around the three movies. How on earth is possible to transport an actor from this place to that place? How on earth is possible for an actor, for a technology to transport to an altogether an imagination world? This made me keep on thinking for three years, three years, three years until Facebook brought Oculus for offering two billion dollars. It was just a technology. But it came to my analysis that you know, there is a technology which can make sure you'll be transported to an altogether imagination world by sitting anywhere else. And thus, and thus an idea which popped up in my mind. An idea which has a lot of experience, which can give it to the students, especially for the higher education in where I teach as an MBA, plus the technology, the VR, and the subject, what I teach, consumer behavior for MBA for third semester. It gave me an advantage in terms of coming within the best innovating teaching methodology which we have implemented in our college in 2005 onwards. In 2005, we, we, we did some kind of a pilot study in terms of having a one student for you know, doing a uh, research project for three months. But yes, it continued to become the, become the biggest uh, research for what we have done it in 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, we are introducing virtual reality in MBA, the most advanced innovative teaching methodology in MBA. Today, VR is reinventing the student experience. My whole concentration lies towards the students. We are brought up in a way where the chalk and talk. We got an experience of how our faculty teaches. But we are talking about Generation Y and Generation Z. How can you make sure we are going to uplift their motivation? This kind of a comparative analysis was there running in my mind where we need to compare with the real time with the technology. 
as I said, I was talking about uh, consumer behavior, which I take in the third semester for MBA. And this concept comes only in once in one year. So in the third semester, last year, which we have done it, and we thought about it. Why can't we combine the VR technology with the, the concept of what we are trying to give it to you? In the meanwhile, we picked up some kind of an, uh, a revolutionary kind of a you know, concept called perception. We touch based on the perception of a consumer. What makes consumer to change their decision? What makes consumer to buy certain things? Is he a rational decision maker or an emotional decision maker? What makes consumer keeps on changing, keeps on changing their experience? Because we have got money now, we got an option. But what we need to divert the attention of a consumer, it lies only in an experience. So we, we rolled out this concept to the entire classroom or the entire 50, 60, 60, 62 people, the 25 people who came forward. Because there are three kinds of learners are there in the entire classroom. One, a student who loves to learn things but just by observing. There are some kind of an, uh, 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 students are there, they love, just love listening. And there are some part of the people are there, they would like to experience the best of the best teaching methodology by being in the concept. So we, we picked up around 25 people and asked them to visit a real time retail stores for continuous one week and ask them to decide why do you want to decide certain things X, Y, Z. And we asked them to record their emotions, their expression with the research-based solutions. And these are some of the students which they have done it really on this, which is up in Instagram. At the same time, after having a one week of a discussions, so we went on, move on to the concept of a real time in the classroom where we thought about it. Okay, given an exposure of a real time, how can we change this? We kept on an analysis of uh, the students and we had some kind of a ruffle on this. About 90% of the entire population of our class, 62 people, 90% of the entire people agree on two things. It will increase their motivation level in terms of learning the subject and also they believe that in you know, having a VR experience, they can change the decision and the result is like this. And overall, when we try to you know, uh, contemplate everything in you know, one concise direction, because students uh, doesn't know what is happening in the real world until unless we give them an exposure of something else, which they don't believe in it, until unless we walk the talk. 90% of the students agreed that, you know, that encourages their, uh, their uh, concept of learning at the same time, it increases their emotional quotient in terms of understanding the subject very well. But in a way, 80% of the total student population agreed that with having a unique kind of an experience in a virtual reality, it will uplift their emotions in terms of changing their own decisions. And this was the reason. And one of the finest students, you know, what we had it experience in 2015-17 batch, he experienced the innovations and went back to his company where he got, you know, shortlisted, especially for the Royal Enfield. In the recently last three months, he shared his experience with the Royal Enfield, you know, people, and they readily agreed to sponsor this kind of an innovation in Royal Enfield, which is going to come up in Hassan, which can be replicated into Bangalore and again in the Haunagiri districts. But what is this all about for the B schools? So we talked about only on the curriculum, but yes, MBA with the VR can do a lot of difference in the student's learning part. There are a couple of uh, uh, well-known universities, well-known B schools are there in the world. They are using these technologies, especially B schools, BB Stanford University, Yale University, or a Swiss B schools. So these are the ones they are trying to initiate. How can we club? How can we integrate the particular concept of VR into the teaching? For example, there's some college by name in Canada, Ted Rogers. They, in fact, they implemented this kind of a concept in there with having a 360 degree of alumni relations, explain the concept of their own study and their branding their own college. SPJN of a global chain in Dubai, they have come with a new course for virtual reality for the business people, which will run for nine months. And at the same time, Yale School of Management, Tech College of Management, they're already using this 360 degree of you know, innovations where it's all about the how they're going to brand their college with the help of virtual reality. Well, there are around four different types of there where we can enhance this. One is academics coming with the best of the best content resource customized for academics. Second thing is marketing. They can keep it as a marketing as a PR tool where they can launch their college with the help of this. Maybe they can build up an alumni relations they can virtually show the college, virtually show their an entire hostel. The major, the biggest plus point of this, it can enhance one's phobia. If somebody has a phobia, somebody has a stage fees, 
I think the VR is the one which can change their, which we can uplift their motivation, which increase their confidence level. And at the same time, they have for training and development, especially in the soft skill nature, in the recruitment, in the interview process. Because the more you give to the students, the more confident they're going to be in the futures. Because here, the faculty acts just as a facilitator rather than a teacher. And the best part is the biggest the challenge is the good content. Until we don't come with a good content for this specific entity, the virtual reality cannot get success. But once the content is ready, the next is we need to have a visionary management board where they can think beyond the future, which can be implemented in their own college. At the same time, having said this, having an idea doesn't make any sense until unless the faculty motivates themselves to make sure he's going to give the best of the best. It's a faculty initiation. At the same time, when everything is done, all we need is a recognition of that particular faculty who has achieved something extraordinary. Now, when we said about this concept of enhancing a customer, customer behavior or consumer behavior, previously, the past was meant to understanding the needs of the customer. The present, what we are talking about is customer expectation, the consumer expectations, and the future is consumer experience. It is only the experience of the consumer will drive the big cash flow to the particular organization, and tomorrow is just now. So uh, let me end, end this uh, my uh, simple talk uh, with a simple example. This, this VR concept was not born so soon. You know, it was there in the market. It was there in the centuries. You know, when you go back on 18th century, the concept was there with the through by painting. But my imagination goes back to way back when we all watched the Indian mythological movies. Just for a moment, just for a moment, just close your eyes and just try to think. We have seen a lot of mythological movies, Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara, they'll be sitting at the top, and at the same time, they'll be there in the bumi. Did God ever use invisible virtual reality? Did they know it? Did they ever implement it? The story goes back to the back where we're there. If you really want to experience something else, experience innovation, because experience is you. Thank you very much.